Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's D. Lloyd. So we made a video a few days back talking about how the Houston Rockets are reportedly star hunting as they are trying to make a push towards the playoffs this season. They don't want to wait. They want to try to make the playoffs this season. So they were looking for a key contributor to come and join the team by the trade deadline. Now, what we know today is who was one of the players that they are actually dangling around to see if there's any interest. And it could be shocking, maybe not, but Jalen Green is the name that has been shopped around by the Houston Rockets. Now, this one is somewhat shocking. Now, this is being reported by Zach Lowe. He's saying this is what he has heard. He has heard that the name is Jalen Green, and there's been some buzz in the trade market surrounding that name Jalen Green so obviously they're trying to make the playoffs when you look at Jalen Green very up and down season so far this year because when you look at the stats just the raw numbers he's putting up good numbers I mean the man just had 31 and then 33 I believe the other day so I mean he is showing that he can score and, and he's a good player I mean the former second overall pick and I think he has been playing well now when you do a deep dive into the numbers it does show that there could be room for improvement. So if you are a team like Houston that is trying to accelerate that, that rebuild and get back into the playoffs now and now wait another season or two, it could make sense to try to move off of Jalen Green. Now, when you look at it, his use is still at 27.4% really high use is actually going up this year moving more to towards a wing than a combo guard when you brought in uh fred van vliet so obviously it was he was going to be used a little bit differently but his usage rate still up there but when you look at you know other things right points per shot attempt it's not that great it's not that great and, and it does make you wonder what can you do if you got a more efficient player because right now Jalen Green putting up points he's putting up stats but the efficiency really is not there and when you look at the shooting every category it's not really where you want it 33 percent from three you want that to be at least around that 35 36 percent mark right he doesn't really shoot corner threes at all which will help but obviously the way they're playing they have a more um above the the three point or the free throw line so you know it makes sense it definitely can make sense there um he shoots more long mid-range jumpers than most people in the league and i think that definitely hurts him as well because that's one of the most inefficient shots right because you know nowadays where analytics is everything as i'm looking at an analytical chart of him analytics is everything right you either want to get to the basket or you want to shoot threes or you know you will take open mid-range shots the closer the better but the long mid-range shots is really what you want to stay away from but he does that 12 percent of the time 12 percent of the time is long range shots from Jalen green which is in the 86 percentile in the league so he is shooting far more long mid-range shots you will want that to you know be adjusted as well and then just creating his own jump shot those numbers have gone down as well is it because now you have fred van vliet who could pass you the ball but you know his assisted um rate extremely high so what value right is are you going to get for him i think you could get good value because he is still a good player and he's so young right at just under 22 years old still that we see the talent but if you're houston it makes sense you could bring in somebody more efficient now to try to help you win now and you really don't want to wait another season two seasons to kind of figure it out so we will see what type of value actually gets garnered from Jalen Green. I would suspect a lot because the talent is there. He still needs to put things together. But remember, he is 21, almost 22. Plenty of basketball left. Plenty of learning left to do. Why not take a shot, especially if you're not, you know, a contending team right now or you're not, you know, of the mindset that we need to win or turn things around immediately. But houston being aggressive and this is multiple reports saying that they are trying to get a star they are trying to improve they are trying to get into the playoffs now so being super aggressive we'll see we'll see what happens and we'll see if it's worth it at the end of the day but Jalen green 
on the trade block reportedly you guys let me know what you think is this a good decision by houston a bad decision and what do you guys think overall of Jalen green and uh, what he has done throughout the first three years of his nba career let me know you guys thoughts and opinions in the comment section below as usual i hope you guys did enjoy the video if you did please do me a favor go ahead and leave this video a like it helps me out a lot and subscribe if you haven't already it's d lord i'm gonna see y'all next time peace